really quick introduction to this video today. About a month ago, I put a video out on how to use Platform IO with our Accelerate board and how you can take advantage of our libraries and compile it and upload it to our board just like you can with the Arduino IDE. Well, I never actually showed how to install the libraries. And while it's really fairly straightforward, I thought it was kind of a miss to not put it in there at all. And I thought that today would be a great day and this would be a great opportunity to share it as part of the blog. So here you go, installing Accelerate Libraries using Platform IO IDE. For the purpose of demonstrating how to install libraries, I'm gonna use this Accelerate Ubi sketch that I had from a couple of months ago when we pushed out a video demonstrating how to use Accelerate with the Ubi Dots IoT platform. And so what I wanted to do is show you how you can install libraries. It's one of the things you probably would have figured out pretty easily if you were using this, but I'm learning Platform IO as I go along as well. And I'm finding some of the things I really like about how they've created this environment. And I just wanted to go ahead and share that in this particular video. So let's start with this program. If I build right now, this should build without any issues. I haven't changed anything. I've got the libraries installed that I need for this particular sketch. So we'll go ahead and let that build. And you'll see some of that yellow scroll by. And if I bring up that build panel again, you'll see some of these yellow warnings. And these are just, in this case, showing me things that are being done in a way that's, I guess, deprecated, but didn't give me any problems in Arduino when I compiled it. Currently, I'm not going back to try to figure out what I need to do to fix these warnings. The code still runs and it still works. I suppose at some point I'll go back and address that. Same thing with unused variables being in there. That's something that I can go back and fix at a later time. I'm not worried about it now. We don't get any errors, and so the build succeeds, no problem. Now let's say I want to add a servo, and I want to do some things with servos, so I'm going to add my Accelerate Servo library because we want to take advantage of the Accelerator block, so I'm going to save that. Now if I go to build, we should get an error because it's not going to be able to find that library. So sure enough, Accelerate Servo.h no such file or directory. So we need to install this library. Well, this is how you do it. We're going to start by going back to the platform IO home panel. I'm going to pull this over. And along the side, we've got these tabs, account libraries is where we want to go. And we can do a search. So we'll do a search on accelerate and we need to add the splat there so we can get a full search. And it'll bring up all of the different libraries that we have for our Accelerate board. We're going to grab the servo. And if you click on it, it'll bring you to a bunch of the details. And I kind of like how they've laid this out, where you can see the example code that's here. You've got a little drop down menu where you can look at the different examples. And you can look at information about the, where the repository and information about the code pulled right from GitHub. So that's fairly convenient. But if we jump back to this and we just want to click install without looking at all that information, we can click install. And the thing I like too is if we want to install it in just a very specific project, we can do that. We can also install it in global libraries, which is what I want to do because I'll be using it for other projects. So now down here, well, it's gone now, but there was, it had kind of a cross hatched look as it was installing. We got the little green window. Now it is installed. So I'm going to close this panel. Go back to my code and we should be able to do another build and that error should go away and we are ready to go with the servo library for accelerate and there we are a successful build that's all i wanted to share for today when i got done with the first video using platform io as soon as i posted it on youtube i thought i didn't really talk about how to install libraries it's been something i wanted to do for about the last month i thought that today's vlog post would be a great way to do that if you're interested in learning more about Accelerate and how you can use it to drive servos more effectively and even how you can start using it more for better robotics applications, please come to our Lorium Technology YouTube channel and subscribe. We're going to be talking a lot about this in the weeks to come and you aren't going to want to miss it. Plus, it's a great way for us to learn more about what we can be doing to help you learn more and to answer any questions and provide the content you're looking for. Thanks again for checking in today. We look forward to sharing more with you tomorrow as we vlog every day in August.